Welcome to the Mananoc International Film Festival. Thank you. Into the group of things. Any coffee? This is our second. Yeah, I have my coffee. Welcome back to the Mananoc International Film Festival, the second annual Mananoc International Film Festival. And right now with me is Gil Macedo, and you're the associate producer of a movie called Bell Borba, uh, A Key. And this is an interesting um, movie. It's a documentary. Um, tell me a little bit about it. It, it features an, an artist or an interesting person. Yeah, so Bell Borba is, uh, he, he, he became a friend. So the, the very interesting part of this documentary, we spent almost like three years filming. So we had a lot of footage and the nice part about it is that the, the movie was being constructed by the time it was being made. We didn't have a script. So it was like everything came very naturally. And in the end, like it was friends. So it Bert, which is the director and Andrea, and I, in the end, we ended up doing everything. So he was always producer, I was always director, and then we did the subtitles together because I was the only Portuguese-speaking person in the crew. So in the end, we had all this footage, and Bell was like speaking Portuguese and like English, and then we had to like give a sense to the movie because we have so many directions that we could take with the story. So let's talk a little bit about what this, this what the story is or what this this is about. So he's he's an artist, and he's in he's in what city? So uh, Bell Borba, he's in Bahia. He's a Baiano. And uh, the very interesting part about him is that all his art, he, he kind of donates to the city. So if you go to Salvador in Bahia, actually it seems that the whole city is his house because he does like, uh, uh, like gigantic public art. So people can, even like if you, if you set a date or if you go to restaurants, like, oh, let's meet there at that, at that art that he did. So. Uh, He's amazing because also he engages community to work with him. So then he would go to the favelas, for instance, and then he takes the kids' drawings and then he gets together with them, like with the tiles, to make the mosaics with them. So it's so talk about a little bit of the art. If um, from from looking at the film, he does a lot of different things, but he uses creativity with pieces and parts of of whether it's broken tiles or. He, didn't he do a giant dog made out of Coke bottles? Yeah. I, and uh, I mean, talk about some I of I think it's like the character that everything he touches, it turns into gold. So everything Bell, Bell touches turns into art. So it doesn't matter if it's a bubble gum, the streets, he, he draws on it. Or if it's metal, he, he does gigantic sculptures. And then the story about the, the Coca-Cola dog. Before that, he was commissioned by Coca-Cola to do like a Christmas tree in Salvador with all the bottles. And after that, there was all these thousands of bottles remaining. So he just like made a dog, make, make, <laughs> make it into a dog. And the, dog, the dog is still there. He can't stop, can he? He, <laughs> just, he, just, he just keeps going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he, the, he's in the uh, film, there's also he's uh, a plane that he decorated or painted or something that he painted to look like a fish. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that day was really interesting because we had this, uh, we were, I think, in th three, two or three planes, I don't remember. So he painted the planes and then we, f we flew. Like, he was, he was in, a, uh, in the other plane, I was in a plane with uh, Andrea and Bert, and we had no door on the plane. So Andrea was hanging out by the door, filming the other plane, like with the camera out. It was like, it was quite an adventure. And like, so flying very low, close to the sea was kind of scary. <laughs> So what, what gave you the inspiration to, to decide to make a movie on this? You knew this gentleman, you were, you, you were, did you live in the city? No, so Bert, which is originally Taiwanese, then uh, he used to live in LA and went to New York. And then for the first time he went to Salvador because of a friend told him so. And when he got there, he started to see all, all this art in the whole city. And the only friend that he had by the time was a girl. And then he was talking to her, like, it's like, I'm amazed, like, who, who does that? I want to meet this guy. And she said, oh, it's my uncle. So it was like such a coincidence. And then Bert does, does a lot of books, and so do I. So he, he thought, wow, I want to make a book about this guy. And by the time he met him, like, he's such an amazing character. Yeah. That's a, 
let's forget about the book for now. Let's do a movie about him. So it all came like, of course, now we, we also have books and digital books and like the project like went big with him because there's so many ways you can explore. So his, his artwork also shows in some galleries in high-end society, but he, he prefers to work right down in the streets with people. I, so in, in, in part of the documentary you show, you know, he'll be, he'll start drawing, he'll just start drawing and not even know where he's going with the drawing and then pretty soon he starts putting up porcelain and, and pieces of tile on the, and then, but the whole community, as you were saying, comes in and they start putting it up for him. Yeah, I think the, a vision we share about art is that it can, it can cost a million or it can cost nothing. So he explores this like ephemeral thing of art, so he can does like a water graffiti, which is there, people can see, and then it vanishes. So you didn't have to pay, but also if you were there, you shared the art with him. Or you can get a draw, so it's very kind of democratic. Or you can get like a gigantic s sculpture. So I think art should be like this, it should be for everybody. Like. And it took you three years to shoot it? Did you stay there the whole time, basically? No, we keep, we go. We, yeah, uh, come back and forth, like Sao Paulo and Bahia. And yeah, great. So what's next for you, in terms of, uh, are you still going to do more movies? Uh, so we developed with him, uh, he was in New York for a month, I don't know if you know, so we did this, like, a, a movie a day, together with the New York City was supporting, and... Uh, Times Square and French, French Alliance. So every day we would show like a, a short movie we did, engaging the community and also always with recycled materials. So we got a donation from the city uh, from all these water barriers. And so like he built like gigantic sculptures with water barriers, which was like very interesting. And in the last three days, the sculptures were exhibited in Times Square. So we had like, you know, an open gallery for everybody. And also during this whole month, uh, a short movie we made, it's like an animation, was shown in more than uh, 20, 27 jumbotrons on Times Square. So the whole Times Square would do like the countdown, and for a minute we would have like our animation. It was pretty wow. fantastic. That's neat. And now we, by, by the end of the year, we're gonna have published uh, 700 pages book about his artwork, which Bert and I did together. And we also have this digital book together with NYU and Google that also features all the movies with the pin, so you can explore the whole world map and pin, and then he'll show you the movie and like a little article about, so it's... Very cool. It went really big. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah.